It's been 125 years since the gospel had been first sowed in the Korean peninsula, which had no hope. This gospel, which came as a stream of light, became the root for the revival of Korean church and growth of the Korean nation as a mighty country among all nations. In the early era of missions, with blood, tearful sacrifices, and services of foreign missionaries led to foundation of schools, hospitals, and orphanages, empowering Korean people a new vision and a sense of confidence that they can do it. Christians in this nation who received this pure faith passed on by the missionaries awakened and led the people of the nation to overcome Japanese imperialism and achieve independence. Most notably, the great revival in Pyongyang 1907 spread throughout all parts of the Korean Peninsula, leading the nation into independence and acting as a source for healing and overcoming of scars and destructions wrought by the Korean War. Moreover, it served as a power to arouse support all other aspects of life in Korea, bringing growth in politics, economics, society, and culture. On the other hand, the second revival movement of the church that came along with the nation's economic growth in the 1970s left a painful history of the church splitting into multiple denominations. In 1984, every leader who represents each denomination gathered together to discuss healing for this issue during the 100th year anniversary of Korean Christian Mission Conference, coming to a consensus that a new organization that oversees the whole Korean church needs to be found. As a result, in 1989, the current Christian Council of Korea, CCK, came to its birth, establishing its foundation on the gospel-centered faith and its motto on pursuing the revival of church, cooperation and unity, and the recognition of social responsibilities. Up until this point, the Christian Council of Korea, CCK, firmly preserved the gospel-centered theology and the identity of faith and proactively contributed his effort for the revival and maturation of the Korean church as well as for the world missions. At this point, in late 2008, CCK, which sends 19,413 missionaries to 168 countries, has visions to strengthen the missionary power of the Korean church in order to send 100,000 missionaries until 2030, cooperating with other organizations in CCK. The Christian Council of Korea, who gives much effort in peaceful unification of the Korean Peninsula, the only remaining separated nation in the world, and the missions to North Korea, is involved in a wide range of missions among various fields of ministries, such as culture, art, media, publishing, and environment, through 21 permanent committees, organized with experts of different disciplines and various special committees' activities. Moreover, he has been working for the rights of immigrant laborers and serving different nations in the global village that suffer from various disasters. Having participated in World Evangelical Alliance, WEA, on June 2009 as an official member, CCK is pursuing a policy to improve WEA that represents 420 million gospel-centered Christians and take responsibility of serving the global church. Along with other WEA leaders, CCK, representing 66 denominations and 21 organizations of Korean church, hopes to collect the power of the church to go beyond Asia to make disciples of all nations and people and to become the vessel of blessing that expands the kingdom of God.